Okay, so this MSI MS16J9 gaming laptop um, doesn't want to turn on. Oh, sorry, doesn't doesn't want to boot into Windows. As you, as you can see, it's a prepare, preparing automatic repair, uh, which is a common thing with Windows 10. Um, and when I try the try to boot into go into advanced options. Troubleshoot, reset this PC, keep my files, local reinstall. As you can see, it says there was a problem with setting a PC, no changes were made. So, well, the most important thing that I want to do is, is retain my data. So, I'm going to, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, to do that, I'm going to turn the computer off. Turn it over and take out the hard drive. You can see there are quite a few screws in here, so I'm going to go through all the holes and remove all screws. All the screws are taken out now. I'm going to try to separate the plastic, the bottom base panel, from the laptop. See that it's slightly stuck there, slightly stuck in the ports, um, USB ports, USB C ports. Uh, the casing is stuck in these on these ports. I'm going to try and separate that. Go. Sort it. So I'm just going to use a spatula just to, uh, which is a handy tool for all computer support repairs etc.
So this is the hard drive here. Carefully lift that and then pull out from the port, from the starter port. So I'm now I'm going to plug this hard drive into externally into another computer and I'm going to have a play around with it. Right, so I've just um, plugged in the internal, the internal hard drive into, into, into a, an old desktop computer, get the power and the SATA cable needs and I'm just going to turn the, this uh, device on so we can spin the hard drive So all you need is a SATA cable and a power, power lead internal internal power lead and SATA cable that will um, that, that will provide power from the power supply unit uh, i.e. an old desktop in order to get the computer running and to get the hard drive running if you don't have a um, an enclosure for example Uh, I forgot to say that, so uh, this is the piece of kit here um, I'm using uh, that's the other end of that uh, the starter lead from the hard drive connects to this piece of kit here you can get them off eBay or Amazon if we may possibly I'll put a link in the description of, of how we can get hold of one of these and it connects via USB into your computer there and that's how it reads the um, the drive and, and that's how you'll be able to get the information off that so back over to the computer then it doesn't seem to be reading the hard drive Ah, okay, so now it's picked up the hard drive. You see where it says. Letter E, local disk E. Double click on that. That's all of the data on here. Uh, a lot of music data, so yeah, that's how you're able to. That enables you to get access to the data. Sometimes you might you might need to um, to apply administrative privileges uh, by right-clicking properties, security. Go to advanced. And change permissions, uh, and then click on apply. Or you can, if you want access to all of the contents within all the folders inside the top level directory, then you click on replace all chart objects. But I won't have, I won't have to do that at this point because it allows me to get into the data, and I can just the data is there now, and I can just transfer that onto a flash drive. Uh, such as this, um, 
that is large enough, uh, 32 gigabyte, that's large enough to hold, contain all of these fo data folders, etc. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to transfer that across and see what the customer wants in terms of repairing the computer itself. But I'm going to sort of have access to the data, which is by far the most important thing. So. Um, Thank you very much for watching. I'll do an, another video on repairing the the hard drive or maybe even add it onto this one.